Now, my thank yous. John Ashton for agreeing to be MC. Um, just a hero, fabulous poet, and wonderful man. I can't thank him enough. My feature readers, um, Ian McBride, I would have to say, is right up there with our best poets, possibly the best, in my opinion. And um, if that stops, running yeah. right along beside, behind him. First poem poet I want to ask up on stage. Um, most of you, you know, all of you here know that Ian McBride is a, a poet and a, a real fine poet at that. Some of you will also know he's a very good um, ink and line drawer and constructor of illustrations which are both beautiful and haunting. Few of you probably know that Ian's also a musician, so he's covered the three bases, you know, the three musicals. Yeah, trifecta of artistic integrity. He's got it. But um, he was a, he's a musician. Well, can I put it another way? He was a drummer. And I know some of you are probably unkind enough to make a distinction. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure he'd want to hear all the drummer jokes, because he wouldn't have heard it. Oh, he was <laughs> <loving it. laughs> But I knew him when he was with, in fact, I would have known Ian longer than me personally in this room. I met back when he was playing with a band called The Chemicals. That was the other Yes. yes. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. A big, warm welcome for Ian McBride. The voice of Gravel and Surf. Thank you very much, John. Thank you, John. Yeah. I've had a lot of success monetarily in my life as a poet and a musician. Right. Um, this is one of Scuffo's from Lakers Run. Walls. This blank relief from windows into which I can walk and be anything. You retreat into corners, furious. Your hand bleeds a print on the plaster. You think these walls are your reason, but if you fight with a wall, you, all, you will always be contained in a room. The, the correct approach is face first and open. In this way, the wall allows you into itself. In this way, the corners never meet. Mm. space. I remember how the light fell, how the thin dust settled, how I fitted beneath the beams, the way in which that tiny place allowed me in, one shelf for dreams, one for grief, one for desire, one missing, a dry July, a lost August, how the afternoons pressed in, the tails of clouds between my fingers, that wonderful hush, the naked ceiling, and an empty house ready right below me. Anya Scuffa. Yes. Yes. The show public. Yes. Yes. No, I've covered it extensively. Yes. I thought I'd recognize it there. Yes. Next poet is. Um, I hadn't met her before, but um, so we met outside, and I said, you know, this. I've heard a lot of things about you, and she said, well, they're all lies. And, <laughs> and I said, well, let's have them. One, two, three. And she said, well, one, I'm an artist, and I'm also a writer. And I thought, God, good. Don't, you don't need any more lies. That's good enough for me. And she's got a book, too, called Barbed Wire Kisses, which is either just being launched or is going to be launched. 3rd of December. 3rd of December, yes. And if that stops, please give her a warm welcome. <laughs> South RMH. Um, I've just chosen this because I just it just resonated, and there are so many poems in this in this brilliant book. 
that I could have chosen and I really was cheesed off I could only choose one. But this is the one I've chosen. Our uh, three South RMH. Uh, there's a little preamble and it says severe side effects from medication I was not consulted about following operation under general anaesthetic, prescription painkillers, dosage, dosage reduced to one third. Oh, that's just not right. On 3 South everything is breathing. Patterns on carpets fold and unfold breathing. The coloured lines on the floor that lead God knows where vibrate. The lights pulsate, even three floors above the ground. From my hospital bed corner I can hear the earth's deep, tonal thrumming, like a faraway mighty drum. Her heartbeat under the concrete under the many feet, I breathe with the tree troughs while black cats peek in to see and someone calls my name again and again and again, Kerry, Kerry, Kerry. Looking through the window at the night, up, night, night lit up city, suicidal ideation thwarted by two inch glass or three. I talk to the tops of the trees, they shiver. I tell them about the heartbeat and the fairy city and the black cats only I can see and the nearness of river. My bandaged hand against the glass. A seagull floats past. Window pane, window pane, window pane. From Barbed Wire Kisses, my new book. Um, this is the Aladdin O'Connell tree, and this is about Tom, the star of their proceedings. I mean, we like Kerry, but Tom's the man. He's the man. Yeah, I love this Tom. He'll be on my wall. I watched Tom flower scuttle up the gum tree. He told Scuff how he liked me because I applauded him. But he was an expert, a veritable wizard of the branch hopping kind, and I, a mere human looking on. He ran up that tree as if the branches <coughs> knew him, as if the trunk bent to his touch. His mum, his mum, well, she can write words, but Tom, Tom can climb trees. Oh, wow. You know, I'd like to be up there with him in that leafless tree with that one flower grinning down. I think if he stays up there, he might never be picked. Then he can stay at this blossoming Tom forever. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tommy. And well performed, too. Well performed. Yeah, body move, colour and movement into one of the scuff parts. Yeah. Um.